So I'm over here scrolling through Indeed.com looking at cybersecurity opportunities, specifically vulnerability management. You know, on this channel, we talk about different ways to make money, increasing your number of streams of income. But one stream of income, obviously, is contracting, using the skills you have to get some money, right? And you're working from home. So it's better. You can do more than one contract. And uh, cybersecurity offers a lot of opportunities to do that. And today, I'm going to talk to you about what it takes to do vulnerability management in the first episode of Tools of the Trade. All right, so what we're really doing here is we're looking at hot industries right now, hot careers right now, analyzing how much they're paying and analyzing how you can get into those industries, right, and what skills you need. Today, we're looking at vulnerability management analysts, and this is a subsector of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is hot. Cybersecurity is going to continue to grow. What is cybersecurity? Well, it's really just keeping your infrastructure and your environments secure from malicious actors, right? And uh, this is only going to increase because most because companies are moving away from on-premises infrastructure. That's where they had their computers and their servers in their corporate offices, and they're migrating that all to the cloud. And that sort of offers more security issues. And there's going to be need for more people who understand how to secure environments in the cloud. That's where the cybersecurity comes in. And there's a lot of different areas in cybersecurity. There's vulnerability management, where you're actually analyzing the uh, computers, the servers that are hosting the applications and making sure that there's no vulnerabilities there. There is also, uh, you know, SOC analysts. Those are the people who are monitoring logs and uh, looking to see any sort of suspicious activity and identifying it. There's people who focus on endpoint security. Those are uh, the endpoints like your cell phones, like your laptops and making sure that they're secure. Uh, there's some software like McAfee and Trend Micro that handles that. There's the people like the Splunk analysts or the Splunk engineers. These are people that work together with the SOC analysts. They actually uh, do all the configuration for the logs in order to send them to somewhere so that somebody can analyze it, right? So there's those people, right? So there's a lot of different areas in cybersecurity. And I've only been talking about the technical areas. There's also the people who do uh, compliance, right? So they're the ones that write a lot of compliance documents that other technical engineers have to follow. Right? So if you're not very technical, that's an area you can get into. So today we're going to look at vulnerability management. And let's just talk about that a little more. So vulnerability management, you have a host, you have your applications stored on the host, and you have other infrastructure in the cloud that's configured. How do you know, for example, that the software that you've installed in your host doesn't have any vulnerabilities? right? Doesn't have any ways for a malicious actor to exploit and get into your system. Because software always has vulnerabilities. And when there's a vulnerability, hackers or malicious actors will be able to exploit those vulnerabilities, right? And so it's a constant game of, you know, people put out software and, uh, you know, vulnerability discovered, and then they send you a patch to fix that vulnerability. And then later, another vulnerability is discovered, and they send a new patch. So you probably notice on your computers, you're always getting patches. I mean, some of the patches are for, you know, upgrades to the software and, and changes to the overall application. But a lot of them are security patches, which are, were, which are supposed to plug up some vulnerabilities. So a vulnerability analyst is somebody who does the vulnerability management of the system. That means they run daily or weekly vulnerability scans on your architecture. They can use different software that does it. Now, Amazon has software that does it. They have their native software that does it. There's also third-party software that does that as well, things like Tenable. Tenable is a vulnerability scanning software. They have things like Qualys. Qualys is a vulnerability scanning software. They have things like Nexpose, also vulnerability manager scanning software. So. Your role as a vulnerability management analyst is going to be running, using one of these tools to run scans on your environment every day or every week, depending on what is required in your company. And uh, then you're, when, once you run it, you're going to get a list of the vulnerabilities in the system. 
and it's going to be broken down by criticality, high, medium, or low, or critical, right? And based on policy in your company, these vulnerabilities are going to have to be remediated at a certain time. For example, critical vulnerabilities, maybe you need to remediate those within a day. Now, remediate means fix those vulnerabilities. Uh, maybe low vulnerabilities, you might have to remediate though. You may have up to 30 days to remediate them, right? And uh, so what you're probably going to be doing in that job is going to be running scans on a system, getting the list of vulnerabilities, right? Identifying, uh, you know, what hosts, are, you know, have these vulnerabilities. Talk to the engineers that are responsible for, uh, you know, DevOps engineers are responsible for that infrastructure. Get a timeline on when they plan on remediating it. Once they, uh, once they, you know, remediate those vulnerabilities, you're going to run a remediation scan to verify that it's been done. And that's basically the position. That's what you'll be doing. That's what a vulnerability management analyst really does. $5,000 a year doing that. $95,000 $95, minimum. Look at uh, volume, VM remediation engineer. Look at that. seventy seventy to $95,000. And how do you get into this? Well, I would recommend, first of all, Get the CISSP, that's the cybersecurity, it's a cybersecurity uh, certification. It means the Certified Information System Security Professional. Uh, it's kind of like the gold standard for cybersecurity. Uh, then you can get a little deeper into some of the cybersecurity certifications out there. You could get a certification for uh, ethical hacking, the cybersecurity, uh, the certification for ethical hacking, the CEH, you could get that one. You could get a certification for one of the cloud providers so that people understand that you have the ability to do cybersecurity within a specific cloud. So AWS, Oracle, Google, uh, you know, Azure. AWS is, is actually, it might be a little saturated right now. There's a ton of people who have AWS certification. So you might want to mix it up and go into an industry that, that are still on the come up. So you might look into Oracle. You might look into Google Cloud. Uh, these areas are on the come up right now, and there's a lot of opportunities there. So anyway, that's what I have to say about that. Let me know uh, if you guys have any questions. We're going to do a lot more of these. If you have, if, you, if there's things you want to hear in terms of certain positions, let me know, and I'll make sure to incorporate that into it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.